All right, man, check out what just arrived at my door. We got another giant box of action figures. All right, man, we're back today. We have a brand new box of action figures right here, and I do believe this is from our friends over at Jazzwares. Huge shout out to Jazzwares and the Jazzwares Vault for making this video possible, man. We have this giant box here. Can't wait to unbox it for you guys. I actually don't know what's in here. Can't wait to unbox this with you guys. I'm actually not sure what's in here, but I'm excited to find out with you. So what we're going to do is set the camera up right here and we're going to unbox it little by little. I don't think it's the big white box that it was last time. Yeah, no big white box like last time, but still cool nonetheless. And a huge shout out to Jazzwares Vault. Prepare for a new drop from the Jazzwares Vault. Got the little QR code there. Always appreciate these things. I like little details like this, man. Anytime you get stuff like this, it's all about the experience that you get. But over here, we do have some blue fluff. We'll get the fluff out of here. And we will reveal our first figure here, which is in a shipper box, which I'm going to have to unbox. So let's grab the trusty knife or the new symbiote-style trusty knife. All right, we found the trusty knife. And I know it's not a My Damn Halls episode, but we might as well. You know what? Cue the music, Brad. Yeah! So now let's unbox this. So we're going to cut it right here. I always get comments that say, you're cutting it wrong. It's cut, isn't it? Doesn't matter which way it's done. So we're gonna unbox this right here. And we do have a Ring of Honor figure, and it looks like it's going to be the Danhausen Ring of Honor figure. So it comes in another shipper. Let's unbox this now. So we do have the Ring of Honor Danhausen figure. Now this is up right now on Jazzwares Vault. As you can see, you have Danhausen there on the front, Ring of Honor logo. And down there it does say Jazzwares Vault exclusive, and it is one of five thousand. Now you can remove this sleeve here and reveal the Danhausen figure in the middle. Now I gotta be honest man, Danhausen's figures are some of my favorite from AEW. I just think they feel so good in hand. I want to say last year or the year before, he was my number one Jazzwares AEW figure of, of the year. I think it was last year, the ringside exclusive maybe? I can't remember off the top of the dome. I want to say he was number one though, and this one looks pretty damn good. You get the jar of teeth in there, which is unique, and we get a brand new cape, which is unique to this figure as well, and it looks pretty damn good. I like this a lot, and I think it might even be cheaper than the ringside exclusive, if I'm not mistaken, so maybe something you want to cash in on. He is number four in the series. Flip it on the back. You got Dan Housen there. If you guys want me to do a full review on this, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd greatly do that, but let's go ahead and pack this up and find out what else the hell we got in this box from Jazz wears. So the next figure pack that we have is this, and I don't know what's in this. It's actually quite heavy, though. All right, so we have another Halo pack here, and I don't even know what this is. I kind of had a feeling on what the last one was, but I have not been keeping up with the Halo releases, so we will take a look at this, and oh my god in heaven, I don't know what I'm looking at. What the hell is even that? So this appears to be a Tataris and Prophet of Mercy with accessories. If anybody has any idea what this stuff is, please let me know down below. But if you are a Halo collector of any kind, I really like, if you've ever seen some video game displays or video game collector displays, you can really spice it up with action figures, man. So if you're a video game collector at all, I would suggest looking into getting some, some I would suggest getting into some figures from video games because there's some really underrated figures and they add to the display a lot. All right, man, this next one seems to be a big son of a gun. Lord in heaven, this is a big box. Look at this box right here. Kind of reminds me of like the size of a Colosseum collection or something. All right, slicing down the middle right there. We're going to open this bad boy up, see what we got. Oh man, we have, dude, what a sick logo. Death Triangle's logo is one of the best things. I would probably get that tattooed. That is such a badass logo. You have the Death Triangle logo, AEW down here. Flipping it on top, you can see the Death Triangle there. And then you open it up, and what do we have, man? We have have our de dude what an insane box oh my god in heaven death triangle you have the death triangle logo 141 jazzwares vault exclusive one of 3000 and then it has these individually packaged things here i definitely feel like i gotta review this on the channel man this packaging is just elite i mean look at this dude you get two championships with Pac. you have you have 
Penta on the side over here. Great looking colorations. Ray Phoenix in white. Just a beautiful P. I am super excited to get into this one, man. We're definitely, if you take that off, you even have their names in there. And this is such a cool pack. Oh my God, it even like folds up. It folds up. Dude, look at this. Death Triangle. You got Penta on that side. Death Triangle. Dude, this might be the best packaging that AEW and Jazzverse has ever done. Holy cow, man. That's that's amazing. That is amazing. I'm actually mind blown. I've seen images, and now I'm even more blown away. That is possibly one of the sickest things Jazzwares and AEW's ever done. I'm blown away by that one. Yep, we're definitely reviewing this on the channel, Brad. That's insane. This is an insane pack. That is uh, like a... Uh, what the hell was that? God! But we're not done. We're still going. We have a few more things. We got a couple more items in here that I want to get into. And we are going to, uh, gotta cut another sealment over here. Looks like we have another Halo set. I'm telling you, man, don't sleep on the video game sets. If you're a video game collector, do not sleep on these things. Can spice up that display, especially if you just have a bunch of cases. We have another Halo box here, and this box set is going to be the Noble Six and the Elite Zealot. Is it Zealot? The Elite Zealot? Is Zealot or Zealot? I don't know, but they look cool. Very cool figures indeed. Also limited edition to the vault and Jazzwares, if you guys are interested in that right there. What else we got in here? We have one more, and it is a pretty damn big one, man. Good God in heaven. Okay, I have no idea what this is. I mean, that one, that's definitely the biggest one we've seen. Can you imagine one day you pull this out and it's just a Sting six-pack or something, man? Maybe one day. All right, man, we've cut the seal here. We're pulling it out, and we do have a Star Wars set, it looks like. And this is going to be the Starfighter Class Collection Squadron Micro Galaxy Pack. And just like last time, it is a big old box, son. And here it is. One of 1,500 Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 3. 17 pieces. And I cannot open it or it'll break the seal. But you can see what we have going on right here. Starfi Starfighter Class Collection. You got Star Wars there. It says Series 3 right there. I think they sold Series 1 back at Comic-Con, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. Almost bought that one. Now I've, I don't even have the complete set. Jesus. Unless, man, I'm going to set everything up so we can take a look at everything that we have in this unboxing. Alright guys, so here's the full setup. We got the Halo figures, the Death Triangle, the Dan Housen, and the Star Wars pack. Now, to be real, the Halo packs and the Star Wars packs don't have much of a need for them in my personal collection, so I probably will be giving those away. So, I just don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's limited space, man, and I'll definitely be passing those along to you guys at some point. I have limited space. I can't be taking up all these action figures all at once, man. I mean, you can see behind this set all these pickups that we have here, but I am blown away by the Death Triangle pack. I cannot wait to unbox that on the, on the channel and get a full in-depth review of the packaging of the figures themselves, break down all the accessories like we do. And then Dan Housen, I've been looking forward to a lot. Always been a big fan of Dan Housen, so getting more figures of him is always amazing. But that Death Triangle set is kind of ridiculous, man. I really did not expect that out of the Death Triangle. I think the Death Triangle set is completely incredible. But a huge shout-out to the Jazzwares Vault and Jazzwares for making this video possible, sending us the big box of goodies over here. Cannot wait to again review the Death Triangle or the Dan Housen sets for you. I'd like to know down in the comment section below which ones you'd like to see first. You want to see Death Triangle or you want to see the Ring of Honor Dan Housen figure review on the channel, man. It's been a blast, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of all this down below. Did you guys grab these? These are available right now. You can go over to Jazzwares Vault right now. I have a link in the description below if you guys want to grab this Jazzwares Vault exclusive Death Triangle or Dan Housen sets. They're all available, and there are other things available that are Ring of Honor or AEW inspired slash connected with. So they have some Ring of Honor figures available. They have some AEW figures available. So if you guys want to go over there and grab those, I'd greatly appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me to go over there, man. So, But that is going to wrap the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what you think of all this down in the comment section below. Were you skipping on this stuff? Were you picking it up? Leave me all your thoughts down below, man. But I am getting the hell out of here. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellows over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>